I want that. This place is actually really cool. In the Impaler's Tomb. In 1485, Count Vlad, or Count Vlad the Third, Pepe's uh, Walashi, Walashia, was slain in a battle against the Ottomans. Wanting proof. Bayezid II ordered the, that Vlad's head be brought to the, the city and locked away. Explore the Sultan's dungeons and explore the final resting place of Vlad the Impaler, Tepes. For full synchronization, complete the level within seven minutes. Wow, this place is really dark. Has a really really dark blue tint on it. It's actually hard to see. Little shortcut there. since I've played this area. I'm just trying to memorize everything. This would be so bad if this place wasn't so dark. This place is so incredibly dark. Makes it really hard to tell the details of where I'm at.
Got a cage hanging up above here. Um. Okay. I'm trying to remember where to go next. Wonder how I'm doing on time. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? I got caught up in the side of the wall there. I ran into this side of the wall. Yeah, right there. That little thing that's jutting out. I'm glad I caught myself. I could have went back pretty far. I could have dropped down. All right. So how are we doing in time? Oh, I have two minutes left. I'm I'm good. Retrieve the sword of Vlad and Paler. Tepis. Nice. Yeah, pretty cool little hidden tomb, plus you get a, an interesting looking weapon. Yeah, I think that's one of the you play rewards you can get. Yeah, look at that. Blade looks pretty badass, actually. It's not as good as my. It's not as good as Yusuf's Turkish Gazil, so I'll probably switch back to that weapon. But it does look really cool. And there's no extra treasure chest in that hidden tomb either. Really? Oh, that's a lot of experience for one of the missions under assassin control. We're going to head back to the 
to the hideout and switch back to Yusuf's Turkish Khajiit or Khajil because of Vlad, Vlad uh, the Impaler's blade looks pretty cool but it's not as it's not as strong so I'm gonna stick with a stronger option I don't think there's any other side stuff I can do. Oh, you know what? I still need to do the Fight Club. That'll probably be the last of the side stuff I'll be doing for a while. There's not a lot of side missions in this game. Basically the Master Assassin missions. And maybe a little bit of extra stuff here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty much main story. So I'm going to work through all of these um, fights. So, yeah, basically it's fist fights and then you get slightly more time and they increase the amount of mercenaries you're going to fight by one each time. Alright, so one mercenary, ten seconds. I'm not going to bet anything. Off to a bad start. Right, I want to start off with a kick and then just punch. And I think I think you kick and then you punch like three times and. Um, yeah. It's about the fastest way you can take out a mercenary. Alright, two mercenaries, 20 seconds. Three mercenaries, 25 seconds. This is where things start to get a little harder. Oh, <laughs> 
Damn. Wasted too much time. Problem is, is when you go to counter him, uh, most of the time your counter misses. The unarmed combat in this game is not nearly as sophisticated as it is in Brotherhood, which is a shame. The three mercenaries and the five mercenaries are the hardest. Alright, four mercenaries, three, five seconds. See, they give you one extra mercenary, but they give you an initial ten seconds, so that helps a lot. I'm basically screwed now. Unless I get lucky on one of the counters. No. Oh, uh, they maybe target the guy. I didn't want to target. So close. Okay, well, four mercenaries is actually pretty difficult. God, the camera swung around. So stupid. See, that's what's throwing me off when the camera swings around like that. Watch, I'll go for this guy on the left side. Start with a kick, and watch, the camera fucking turns. You know? Way to disorient the player. I lost so much time because of it. I didn't. I made it for lost time, though. 
Yeah. See that though? The camera swings around. So when the camera swings around like that, it, it disorients the player, and then you're like, you know, you're trying to focus on one target. Alright, so five mercenaries, 40 seconds. This is easily the hardest. I think it might actually just be best to go for the guy on the right first. The camera, the camera doesn't swing around like quite as much as it does if you go on the guy on the left. There we go, got it my first try. There we go. Cleared all the fights out. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, there's, there's, I don't think there's any so, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, you could do like a, you could do like a fast takedown with a counter, or if you time it right with hitting someone. Well, that's pretty much it for side stuff now. I mean, <laughs> I've renovated every building I can until I have more money. I like I have all the shops renovated, all the empty faction buildings. Um, I need there's one more well I can blow open. Um, I have all the collectibles up to this point in the game. All the side missions. I do have some master assassin missions I need to finish up the second parts of. But, I don't know, I'm in pretty good shape. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Armchair General. Control all cities except roads. Simultaneously in the Mediterranean Den. Defense. Completely forgot that was a thing. Looks like I can do the second part of this Master Assassin mission now. I'll hold off on that one. I'm going to be continuing the... Uh, I'm going to be continuing Sequence 3 here real soon. Let me get my notoriety back down. So it doesn't ha cause me issues later. And I'll need to send my assassins out on contracts. Try to max out their experience. The so 15,500 experiences max. They've got a ways to go on some of these assassins. But in due time, though, we'll, I will have them all max experience.
total disrespect for society. They are nothing but cold killers. God's name possessed you to do that. <laughs>